Hi everyone, it's Vicky here and welcome back. Today I'm featuring the latest release by My Favorite Things with Create 8, but I will slightly change the format. I am going to split my 8 cards into two videos, so you will see part 1 today with 4 cards and the other 4 cards will follow tomorrow. For my first card I'm going to feature the Polar Pulse. This is an adorable stamp set, as you can see it is packed with little friends there. And there are also designs that uh, you can use to create a little uh, polar scene. There are also matching dies and um, the sentiments are perfect for creating uh, Christmas cards and holiday cards. So for my card today I have picked the seal and uh, the piece of ice where I'm going to place here and I have also picked the igloo. I'm going to stamp everything at once with my new Tim Holtz stamping platform. I'm planning to use my alcohol markers to color all the images and that's why I'm using black ink by my favorite things which is alcohol marker friendly so it's not going to smudge or smear later on. I am coloring everything with my alcohol markers. Here I am using my Copic markers, but I will bring in my Spectrum wires later on. I do like to mix and match the colors of uh, markers that I have from different alcohol uh, marker brands, and they work perfectly together. Now I'm going to use my black gel pen and this has a sparkle on it and I'm going to add um, a touch of that black on his eyes and his nose and this is going to bring him more to life. And I'm also going to use my clear shimmer pen by Novo and I'm going to add some shine on the eyes as well as the igloo. Now this is a new stencil that has been just released, it is called Drifts and Heels and it has four different sides with different uh, designs which is perfect for creating your scenes. So I'm going to use one of those and I'm working on a piece of white cardstock and I'm going to replicate the bottom side of these eyes. I'm going to use a Copic friendly marker, so I'm using my Memento black pen, I am drawing two lines and uh, this is going to be a big chunk of ice. Now I'm going to use my scissors to cut out uh, this uh, ground. Now I'm going to use this uh, blue cardstock to create the ocean, so I'm just using a frame there to cut out, and I'm going to add some tape adhesive at the back of my big chunk of uh, ice, and I'm going to stick that at the top of my panel. Now I'm going to add uh, some more tape adhesive at the back of uh, that eyes and my little pal there and I'm going to place him on top of the ocean. To complete my scene and add some interest at the background I'm also going to stick that igloo at the back. And now it's time to stamp the sentiment, for that I went with the one that says sealed with love, which I'm going to cut out with, our, with one of the speech uh, bubbles that have been released uh, last month. And to add a little bit of dimension on my card, I have added some foam tape at the back of this uh, sentiment and I'm going to stick that on top of uh, my panel as if the seal is saying that. Now to assemble my card, I'm working on a side folded card that's four and a quarter by five and a half. I'm going to stick this border that I have cut out while I was cutting out my ocean so it fits perfectly inside. I'm going to add some foam tape at the back of my panel and I'm going to stick that inside that frame. So this is a winter card, but depending on the sentiment that you use, it can easily be turned into Christmas card. For my next card, I will be using one of those uh, stitched rectangle dies. Uh, they have come up with two different sets with all the different sizes that you might ever need. You can just grab one of them, either one will work, and they fit perfectly inside the standard card. So I have cut out a white panel, I have placed it on my stamping platform and now I'm going to use one of those big bold greetings that I really love, I know I will be using them a lot and I have uh, picked the one that says deck the holes. I have it at the door of my stamping platform, I am applying Versamark ink so that I can stamp it easily by closing the door and I did get a good impression from the beginning so I don't need to stamp again. I'm applying red embossing powder and I try to find the brightest one that I had in my stash and that's actually by Ranger, so I'm going to use my heat gun and melt all the embossing powder. For this card I'm going to use a new stamp set which is called Happy Poly Days. It's just adorable, it features four different dogs and I really love their designs. 
I am going to stamp on a piece of white cardstock some of uh, the images from the stamp set. So I picked uh, the ornaments as well as one of uh, the little dogs. And I'm stamping everything with black ink, which is alcohol marker friendly, since I will be using my alcohol markers to color everything. After coloring all the images, I did uh, just some uh, basic copy coloring, nothing too fancy here, and I'm going to use the matching dice to cut out everything. And now it's time to assemble everything, so I'm going to stick my little dog centered at the bottom of my card, just underneath the sentiment, and then I'm going to play a little bit with all those ornaments and decide where everything is going to go before I stick them down. And for that I used my Nuvo glue adhesive, and that's just because I found it easier than uh, using my tape runner in such small pieces. And now that I have everything uh, stuck there, I'm going to draw some... Uh, lines and I'm using my T-ruler there just to make sure that everything is nice and straight and with a black marker I'm going to draw the lines as if those ornaments are hanging from the top of my card. My card base is a standard card that's a top folding card four and a quarter by five and a half and I have tried to find the brightest thread that I had in my stash. Now I'm going to add some finishing touches and I'm using some uh, clear Nuvo drops which is going to add shine. I'm actually applying that on uh, the light bubbles all around my little dog. And there are lots of options here. You can uh, either use glossy accents if you wish so or just uh, go over the light bulbs with a shimmer pen which is going to give some shine. Now I'm going to use my sparkle gel pen and that's uh, black over my puppy's eyes and my card is finished. For my next card I'm going to combine two die sets, the snow globe and the scenic snow globe which is going to give me different elements to put inside of my shaker window. Now for the shaker window I'm going to use one of those plastic pouches which fits perfectly inside that uh, snow globe. I'm going to show, show you how it fits and it gives you enough space to add uh, lots of things inside. Now you can separate this die set and pick whichever of the designs you like to use on your shaker card inside your uh, snow globe, but I decided to cut out just the snow banks there. Just because all these dies are so tiny, I don't like to separate them because I'm afraid uh, I might lose uh, something. So I'll just uh, go ahead and cut it out as it is from white cardstock. Of course, you can uh, di pick uh, different colored cardstock and cut out the different images. But I found it easier for me for this card to cut out everything out of white cardstock and then use my alcohol markers to color everything. Now I'm assembling my little snowman there and uh, you will see that in the die set you will find all the accessories that you ever need for your snowman. So there is a scarf, there is his hat, you will find his hands, even a tiny little carrot for his nose. And you will find even tiny little pieces to add as his eyes or buttons or even his uh, mouth. But I decided instead of fighting with those tiny little uh, pieces to just draw his eyes. So I'm going to use my black uh, gel pen there. Now I'm going to need a background piece, so for that I'm going to create my own sky. I'm using peacock feathers and I'm just applying some uh, Distress Oxide ink on top of a piece of uh, scrap white cardstock. I'm just making sure that it's big enough so that uh, it is going to cover up the back of my snow globe. And this is where I'm going to create my little scene. So I'm sticking down the snow bank. And I'm going to measure again just to decide where my snowman is going to be. Just to make sure that it is going to show. I'm adding some white glue at the back. And I'm going to stick him down. And just to add a little bit of interest on my little scene, I'm also going to stick one of those trees. And the die set actually gives you many more options of trees that you can use for your little scene. Finally, I'm going to give him some hands. And my little scene is ready. I used the stitched rectangle dies to cut out this panel so it has a beautiful stitching all around. Now I'm going to cut out this uh, snow globe window. And I'm again uh, measuring that uh, my scene uh, fits perfectly inside. And now it's time to stick that plastic uh, window. At the back I'm going to use some white glue all around the window. 
and you will see that uh, that uh, plastic pouch fits perfectly inside. I'm going to turn it on the other side so that I can press it nicely there. And here is uh, one of those moments that I need to say do as I say and not as I do. So just because I have all this dimension I cannot stamp the sentiment below the window with my stamping platform. But the good thing is that I can uh, place it just outside the edge there. And this way I will avoid squeezing that uh, window flat. Now I am going to stamp this with Versa marking. I'm just checking how far inside I need to put that. In any case, this is going to work uh, out fine for me, but uh, remember, stamp the sentiment first and then create the window. And this is going to save you from a lot of uh, frustration since, uh, first of all, I do have that uh, dimension there that I am afraid of squeezing. And um, second, I need to stamp with Versa marking and then emboss. So when you apply heat on top of um, this plastic, it might uh, ruin it. I managed to save that uh, card, but uh, remember, just just uh, stamp the sentiment and uh, then do everything else you need to do. I am using silver embossing powder and this is actually the platinum one which is going to give a beautiful effect. It's one of my favorite uh, embossing powders by Ranger. And this is where I need to be extra careful so that I don't melt the plastic uh, window. So now with my scissors I'm going to cut out the excess of uh, the background scene. Now this is uh, diamond dust, it's very chunky and uh, shiny as you, as you can see, it's not glitter, so static electricity will not make it uh, stick on top of the plastic window and uh, I really love it when it comes to creating uh, snow. I added a scoop of that uh, diamond dust at the center of my little scene and now I'm going to add some tape adhesive at the back of my panel. I'm going to place that on top of my background and trap that diamond dust inside. And finally I'm going to stick this panel on top of a standard card that's four and a quarter by five and a half and my card is finished. And now let's move on to the last project for today. This is not going to be a card. This is the Tall Tag Duo. It has a beautiful stitching around them and there is also a slit to thread uh, some uh, ribbon if you wish. You can create um, bookmarks with them, you can even decorate your cards or you can create gift tags just like I will do today. And for that I'm going to combine the snowflakes as well as the word joy. All of these dies have been released this month. Now I have cut out of uh, red cardstock both of the dies, the one with the fishtail, and it fits perfectly on top of the other one. Now I am creating a gift tag for your Christmas gifts to put under the tree. It will work as a card so you will be able to open it up and on the inside flap you can write from and to. I am creating a score line at the top of my bottom tag and uh, that's about at, uh, 7 eighths of an inch. And this is where I'm going to place my glue so that I can stick the top tag on top. This is a quick and easy project and you can uh, make tons of them really quickly in assembly line, especially if you work assembly line. Think of all the different colors that you can use, like you can have white tags or craft colored tags or uh, even you can use your old pattern papers for that and you can embellish them with pretty much anything you want. Now you can even create sets of those gift tags and hand them out as uh, gifts to friends so that they can use them on their own uh, gifts. Now all I'm doing is covering up uh, a piece of uh, white cardstock with this uh, specialty surface. This is by Tim Holtz and you will find links to everything I'm using down below in the description area. So I'm going to cut out one of the snowflakes and the word joy out of this sparkling paper. I used my big shot to cut out everything and now I'm using white glue at the back of my cutouts and I'm going to embellish the front of my tag. So this is actually the design that I will be using this year for my Christmas gifts under the tree. I am planning to create some of them in gold as well, which I think are going to look stunning. So I'm adding some white glue at the back of my snowflake there, stick it on top of my tag. 
Now there is a slit at the top of uh, the tag and I'm going to thread some uh, white string and just uh, tie a knot. But uh, remember that you can use a fancy Christmas ribbon for those special gifts. And these were the three cards and the gift tag that I have created for today. Join me tomorrow for part 2 of uh, Create 8 featuring even more products from the latest release by my favorite things. Remember that there is always a full list of all the supplies that I used down below in the description area as well as on my blog. Don't forget to leave me a comment and let me know which one of those projects was your favorite for today and I'll see you all tomorrow.